Howdy folks, Mikey McKernan here, AKA Booha Man, AKA is not funny. Do I have a frog in my voice? <clears throat> Tonight, I'm in Rancho Cucamonga, my hometown. I'm actually, tonight I'm not in Rancho Cucamonga. I'm currently in Arizona where I'm doing a headline weekend. You'll see that vlog in a few months, hopefully not that long, but as I'm preparing for that vlog, I was deleting some clips to make space on this memory card and I deleted the first two to the Rancho Cucamonga vlog. Grr, I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Some of my content creator friends were like, you cannot tell them the truth, you can just play it off, but I'm not doing that. I am a comedian. I love to be very translucent. I don't like to lie. I like to reveal all my mistakes to show how real this journey really is. So if you want to give me crap, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't remember what I said in the intro video because that was over a month ago. Yes, I know. It's taking a while. I'm about to go edit that video now. And yes, I know. I'm not proud of myself. I'm very ashamed and bashful about it. But come along to this vlog. I visit a lot of good places. It's my hometown. That's why I'm so frustrated because I'm like, this is such a big vlog. And I... Deleted the intro. I don't even remember what I said because I was over a month ago. Blah, 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 blah. But I visit some of the historical places in Ranch Cucamonga, John Rain's house. Then I go visit my childhood home and I go to all the schools I go to. I even visit my best friend's mom's registered garden. So thank you for your patience. I apologize again. I'm going to make sure I don't do this stuff again. Sorry. But we're at the John Rain's house. Let's go. Furniture here, the four piece, came from uh, the Stone family. They, the piano is Black Burrow Walnut and it came from Chicago in 1870. They ate stores, if we can remember that. Um, and so she hired a teacher and made this room a school for anybody. Um, this room here was the family gathering room, and John Raines had a desk in here. Throughout the years, it's been a bedroom. We don't have a desk, so they let it be a bedroom. And we had this beautiful walnut bed to show off. And the little girls' nightgowns are all from handmade cotton and and home and homespun uh, lace. So we okay. have those all. The so um, everybody ate well here. So was there a trail through here? Or? That one is an original. It's missing its oil lamp. It's an original. The lady that started the historical society that furnished the house, she came here as a school teacher to show her seventh graders where the wine came from for 70 years and why it wasn't here anymore. They found a bulldozer going through the back of the courtyard. So she sent her class on the bulldozer, went back to school and called the owner and the county. And the county bought two acres and made a deal with the ladies that if the county put the house back together and did the yard, that they would get enough furniture to, to give tours. For many years, they had bake sales, dinners, dances. They sold baked bread every morning, Saturday morning here. Maria Merced was the daughter of Isaac Williams, who married the daughter of Don Ludo, who was the largest landowner in California. I can see why she started a school. Everybody around her was educated. She was a 12 foot sister. And Maria had 3,000 square feet in her house, full length windows and big rooms. And um, the, the running water in her back door, plus this trough was underground and it ran water under the house in a big circle. So when it's 100 degrees for three weeks at a time, it air conditioned the house. So she had air conditioning too. We should go get that. <laughs> Sometimes. But they fed a lot of people. There was probably 100 people in the Our Mexican avocado is 92 years old. Oh my gosh. Wow. We're just sort of baby in it because we don't know how to take it out without vibrating the bricks. But it gives us a few Mexican avocados every other year. The squirrels have left me two this year. So. Oh. <laughs> 
This was to separate the kitchen from the house in the 1800s. Kitchens burned houses down. But we do have kind of a modern kitchen here uh, because John Rains liked biscuits and I'm sure he had other things from the East that he liked dress up front. And then children under five were bathed in the bathtub. They had that to keep the other cattle. And where everybody lived. Well, um, John Rains let everyone build houses northeast of the property. Uh, uh, adobe houses mm -hmm. and with them, you know, they all exchanged and Kowalski, I believe, came around 1905 and it built up and uh, by 1922 he was the largest winery in the world, but then it was broken down. Now this house started a business after John Rains on 7th Street and one of the college students was there when they were building a house or something on 7th Street and it caved in and it was the quarry. Where did they get the bricks? They must have either built them on site the, or... The clay came One Sunday morning we were planting and we kept hitting all these big rocks. But when they got to where those boards are, just kept, like, hitting All right, John Rain's house, built in 1860. Gotta do my Rancho Cucamonga history, okay? This is where I'm from, all right? I have to, have to learn some of my town's history as much as I can. Look, we got old Hearst right here. Super, super fascinating. So historic, so gorgeous. Yeah, Rancho Cucamonga. Cucamonga! Get off me. Spiders. Ranch Cucamonga, known for its wine. There was at one point, there was the biggest winery in the world was here in Rancho Cucamonga. And it's funny because there was no towns between here in Los Angeles, there was just Cucamonga. It's funny, in modern times, like old school Hollywood, when they wanted to go to Palm Springs for vacation, they always would stop in Ranch Cucamonga to pick up wine. And most of that has a lot to do with the irrigation system here. They used to say the Shoshone Indians named Cucamonga as a sandy place, but I've also read that it's also known as many streams. And there was some guys, I believe it was Milliken and Haven, they learned how to grow grapes without any water in Cucamonga. I got grapes. See, look at a bunch of wineries here on the Rains property. Got a little tour, wasn't expecting that. I thought that was very, very cute and that was fun. Just kind of let her explain it all, you know? I can tell you all sorts of history, but that's what her job is. National Register of Historic Places. John Rains house, how cool. I was there. John Rains only lived there for two years and he was murdered. They brought a lot of Italian wines out here too. I like hearing about that. I think that's always really cool. We got grapes. I got purple. Who got grapes? I got purple. Cucamonga. It's really funny too, because people are like, what's Cucamonga famous for? And I know my generation, a lot of people say movie the next Friday. But to me, it all started with, I think, I can't remember if it was the, the Tonight Show with Jack Parr or if it was Looney Tunes, because the comedian Mel Blanc, he worked on the railroad. And as a punchline, he would say like different cities and he'd go, Cucamonga. And of course, Cucamonga is just a funny sounding name. So back in the day, they're like, let's say funny sounding city names. So then in the 70s, it was renamed as Rancho Cucamonga. Let's go explore some more spots in the city. Let's go do some Mikey McKernan history. We got the Rancho John Rains history. Now we gotta do a little Mikey McKernan history. Cause, oh yeah, cause I'm, you know, a historical figure in this town. Ugh. Thomas Winery Plaza. This right here is home to one of the oldest wineries in California. That's right, 1839. Can you believe it? Founded by Don to Brujusio Tapia. I butchered that one. Another reason why I love this Rancho Cucamonga history is Route 66. See, look, a coffee clutch. I told you. I was there one yesterday in Laguna Beach, and there's one here in Rancho. Cucamonga Winery. Established by the Tiburcio Tapia, to whom the Cucamonga's Rancho was granted March 3rd, 1839, by the governor Juan Batista Alvarado of Mexico. 
This was dedicated in 1950. So cool. Right there, the oldest structure in Rancho Cucamonga. It's so funny, there's been so many different, well the winery has always been here, Coffee Clatch has always been here, but there's a new restaurant over there. I can't tell you how many different establishments were in the winery. Like nightclubs, restaurants, concert venues. Right here, Foothill and Vineyard. That's where this is, but it's Carnelian, but it starts right here, it's Vineyard. History, California history. Rancho Cucamonga has a lot of California history. Boy, am I proud of that. Now, as I'm getting older, I really do appreciate Rancho Cucamonga among us history especially because route 66 what's so fun is that rancho has decided to preserve one building as a landmark cucamonga service station 2009 the station was already in operation when u.s route 66 was established in 1926 and was a welcome place to stop between san bernardino and los angeles and what became known as america's mother world the Cucamonga service station was built by Henry Klusman in 1915 on the state route which would 10 years later be designated as U.S. Route 66. This type and style of station is one of the few remaining that once numbered in the thousands and greeted travelers along U.S. Route 66. Then in 1925, Ansel Morris purchased the station and became a Richfield distributor, closed in 1971. The station was reopened in August of 2015 as a Route 66 museum. So thrilled on that. Route 66 history in my hometown. It's so funny, Archibald Foothill. This is like the, the oldest shopping center. You got the deli across the street. Really good deli. Oh my gosh. This has always been here ever since I was a kid. And it's like, wow, you never really appreciate it until now as you're an adult and you like Route 66 history. Come on, man. Missed your step. What's also fun is Rancho Cucamonga also has some rock and roll history. I don't know if you ever heard of the song called Wipeout. Wipeout was recorded in 1963 at the Powell Recording Studio. Technically, it was right here at this spot, right here, but the building no longer exists. It was destroyed. They said that it, the building was moved to 8040, which is this one right here. And then 1964, it was actually sold to, I don't know, a, a young rocker named Frank Zappa. About 1961, Frank Zappa used to work at this studio. And then in 64, he bought it over and it used to be called Studio Z. He lived here. Frank Zappa lived in Rancho Cucamonga recording music. My facial hair, I get Frank Zappa all the time. Look at, I guess I'm doing justice to being from here and wearing this facial hair when Frank Zappa used to live and record music here. But then it was sold in 1965 and then it was torn down, so. Rock and roll history on Archibald Boulevard, Rancho Cucamonga, California. Yeah, I guess that was my rock and roll song. All right, now Mikey McCrane history, let's go. There it is, folks, my childhood home. I can't tell you how many different memories I had at this house from, what, one years old to 13? Can't tell you how many times I've been on that roof. Memory lane right now, this is crazy also like every time you go to your childhood home it all seems so much smaller so much smaller this is insane i don't, I don't want to be filming too many private residences but right here this was the side gate this right here was where i fell in love with hockey the favorite thing i used to do as a child more than anything was come out here and shoot hockey pucks my favorite childhood memories out here on my rollerblades shooting hockey pucks. Sorry, Dad, we broke that fence a lot. Wow. All right, I don't want to be filming too many private residences, so that's all. Right there, quick house. There it is. No, 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 no. All the dogs are barking at me. They don't recognize me. Child at home, Alta Loma. Also living on this block. I know I said shooting hockey pucks and next to the house was probably one of my greatest childhood memories, but the second was right here. That's just a brick wall. The brick wall used to not be there. There used to be an opening to a field that we called the field going to the field making bases right here i know it's a brick wall because behind that is a 210 freeway this used to be my playground this used to be my childhood dreams <sighs> oh. but now i'm glad that kids aren't playing on the freeway i know i'm pretending that i'm famous but this is for one day one day when i do become recognized 
people will be like, whoa, dude, like, where? what's your story? Where are you from? Well, hopefully they'll go back and watch these videos. So this house right here, this is actually my best friend, David. You met him. He was at the Big J Okerson vlog. This is his mom's house now. She has been going gonzo on building this. I can't believe this. I don't even recognize this. It's like a forest. And she's been going so hard, she even got a plaque. National Wildlife Federation Certified Wildlife Habitat. This property is recognized for its commitment to sustainability, provide essential elements of wildlife habitat, food, water cover, and places to raise young. What? What? This is hilarious. This is the rainforest. That's what it's called. This is amazing. I'm out here vlogging. I want to see if anybody ever comes out. I gotta tell you how many times I came to this house. What's up, dog? <laughs> Say hi to the vlog. What's up, vlogs? Welcome to Mikasa. Look at this. This is a freaking do-it-yourself garden. This is a jacuzzi, dude. That's a jacuzzi? No, it's not. That's a lily pond. You guys don't get mosquitoes out here? Nah. That's so good, man. Let's see. There's one right here. What is it? They're bullfrogs. Oh, snap doodle. Yeah. See him? Of them. He's hanging out. Get the plant out of there. There he is. Early in the morning, they all just sit out and chill. Oh, he's a big guy. Yeah, dude. You guys named him? Nah. See, this is why you want these little nature preserves. And of course, you know, we have to have our lifeguard. Oh. Let's go yeah. sharks, baby. Yeah, look at <laughs> uh, we do respect that it's a hockey house here, but the sharks, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah, plant stuff, make life. What's up, chick? Just come back there. They're getting a little weirded out by me. That's fine. There's a butterfly habitat. Butterfly habitat? Oh, that was nice. Get to reminisce with some family and friends. Well, they've always been considered family because these are some of the individuals I know my longest in my life. Cool. Guys, come visit the rainforest, all right? So proud of my friend's mom. Certified wildlife habitat. Yes. Shout out Terry's Burgers. Jasper Elementary School. That's where I went to kindergarten through sixth grade. I, first I was a Jasper Jet, and then I became a Jasper Champion. Jasper Champion? We used to, when the Jets, we were white and green, and then we were like, we're now the champions, and our colors are teal and purple. Whatever, but there it is, elementary school. I'm not saying out here, okay? I gotta go, all right, goodbye. Then after Jasper Elementary, I went here. Alta Loma Junior High. Seventh and eighth grade, right here. Seventh grade, I was in the Hopi tribe, and then eighth grade, I was a Seminole. Shout out Mr. Bowser, my social studies teacher, best teacher I've ever had in my life. All right, uh, I'm glad it's summertime because I can't be hanging around schools too long. Let's go. After Alta Loma Junior High, we actually moved over to Etiwanda. That's the area that my parents now currently live. But I went to a middle school actually for only two months. And then I started high school here. Etiwanda High School. My corn phase started here and ended here as well. My freshman, the junior year. Nope, I did not graduate here. My senior year, I did an in-district transfer because I met a friend. Then I decided to transfer to this high school. Rancho Cucamonga High School. Came here my senior year all because I met my friend Evan Wallace at the AMC Movie Theater, my first ever job. We already talked about that. But I met him, he's like, yo, I do uh, Drama 3-4 here. And we do drama festivals. And I'm like, what? I wanna go on festivals. I wanna travel to different high schools and compete in acting stuff. I came here, graduated, a cougar, great. There's a lot of kids around, I'm out of here. All right, that's a little Rancho Cucamonga, Mikey McKernan history, I mean, not much my history i just went to all the schools and i didn't want to linger i don't need to make people uncomfortable all right my stand-up comedy does enough of that already but now i'm just chilling at the parentals so i'm just gonna relax 
here till the gig king's brewery i've never been there i know like i said my brother's coming i said i was probably gonna have some other friends coming but i don't think they're gonna come that's cool no problem i saw them so that was fun i got to randomly hang out with them all right i'm just gonna relax maybe think about my set i don't know how much time i'm gonna do i'm a little pooped out because i haven't had a day off in a while i've been going gunzo i gotta work the next three days here did a f gig and vlog yesterday and i gotta edit now this is gonna be four videos i'm behind <sighs> Buy the ticket, take the ride. This is the life that you chosen. But I appreciate you being here. We're at the gig, Kings Brewery. There's people here, it's fun. I'm excited, I'm going second to last. I got some friends here who, uh, they've been working all day and they, <laughs> it's, I just feel bad because they're like, you going up early so we can check it and split? But no, I'm going pretty up later, so ooh, that's gonna be tough. But my brother's here, brought us high school buddies. So good to see them. And then one of my other buddies is here, Brandon. He's here with Brandy. Brandy, who's my best friend's older sister, David. This is fun, there's some, there's some family here, there's some friends. And so yeah, no, I'm excited. I got a little posse out. 20 minutes, yikes. That's gonna be a long set out here. He's got a lot of the comics doing longer sets. We'll see how it goes. Now I'm gonna stop fretting a little bit. Now I'm gonna have to sit here and start thinking about all these jokes that I gotta do and get into it. You know, you gotta be grateful when you have friends and family to come see you. So it always drives the nerves up because for one, like, oh, hey, when are you going up? Like, when are you going up? And, or, hey, talk about us, or it's all that random stuff but it's it's gonna be good it's gonna be fun i'm gonna have fun i'm not worried about it i'm gonna have a blast i don't want to get too close to it because it's got too much copyright music once the come comedian start talking on the mic then i can record what the room looks like but it's a nice brewery it's outside so all right it's time to do some yucks time to get some buhas like i went on a dating site called bumble you laugh because you've been on bumble bro you're really gonna like this bit you're really gonna like this that would rock I don't know if this makes it fun. <laughs> Sorry, I saw some Star Wars shirts tonight. I gotta make sure the internet witnesses this, okay? You guys are cool and all, but you know. I do have a YouTube channel, so you know. please look it up. You can, you can find out which one you are. I'm not laughing. Stand up comedy is like prison. You only get respect if you murder. <laughs> or you gotta do a lot of time. Yeah, that's how popular books are. Thank you. I was I was reading a lot of books out of the library. They did curbside library. Nobody checked out books at the library during this, right? It was awesome. The only problem is they come up to you and shush you in your car. Trying to make it in this industry with under 5,000 followers. So if you folks want to see somebody not get famous, please follow me on Instagram at Mikey McKernan. If you guys really want to look up my Instagram right now, I'm four followers away from 5,000. I'm not lying. Please, everybody, look at your phone right now. M-I-K-E-Y-M-C-K-E-R-N-A-N. Four away. I want to make a post about it, too. I'm going to be like, hey, look, I finally did it. But I'm afraid to because I think people would probably unfollow me just to ruin that. Those are comedian friends of mine, I know that. Look at this is just inside baseball. I'm not lying, why do I come up here and lie? Thank you. Give it up for my manager tonight. That worked perfect, that worked perfect. Thank you this table. My brother and his high school friends. Junior high school friends. Sorry, you knew him longer. He's like, I'm bringing all the. Remember all the guys that used to tease you when you were growing up? They're coming to your show, front row. I'm like, oh yeah, the guys that came and laughed in my face when I was dressed up as Harry Potter waiting for the book at midnight. I'm the youngest of seven. Oh, how many and where am I? I'm I'm Mikey McKernan, and I'm on Instagram, and I. I, I think it was 4,995. See, it was six earlier. See, I already lost one. It was six earlier. Yeah, this is comedy now, folks. We want you to go look at your phones and follow us. So you can get, you know, when these reels come out, you'll be like, holy crap, I was there. Didn't seem like that many people left, though. All right, but... Don't leave that as a comment, all right? 
Shout out to the food truck back there. How's the food? Is it good? You guys are liking it? I can tell it's putting y'all in the food coma over there. You guys aren't laughing. <laughs> I know. I laugh when they don't laugh. It's funny. I was like, don't worry. Help fill that into my brain. Did you follow me on Instagram? Is that what that is? I hit 5,000? Yeah! Hell yeah. If only my parents can see this now. Thank you. I was hanging out with my folks today. My dad still brags. No, I want to talk about social media. You're over there. <laughs> Saw them today. My dad still brags how he met my mom. He did something I would never do. He picked up my mom who was nine years older and already had three kids. Yeah, what an idiot. And I was born, I got to know her, and now I get it. <laughs> She's great. Shout out to all the moms. My parents met in, a, they, they, they met in a shopping center. My dad had a mattress store next to my mom's meat market. They humped, opened up a sandwich shop. It's real. Sandwich Plus. Anaheim Hills. Anaheim Hills or Orange? Was it in Orange or Anaheim Hills? See how punctual I want to be about this. They were so poor they got married inside the sandwich shop. Yeah, they had, this is true, they had the reception right in front of the chip stand. All they could afford was to exchange onion rings. <laughs> My friends are like, hey Mikey, we're experimenting in free love. I'm like, no, you guys are mispronouncing cocaine. That's what you're doing. You're all doing drugs and humping each other. I always felt like chicks were never into me because I wasn't into doing cocaine. I always called it blow because that's what it does to your flame. <laughs> I know, anti-cocaine jokes in Rancho. Thank you guys. Appreciate your silence. All right, just got off the mic. 20 minutes. It was fun. It went good. I felt pretty confident. And the thing is, sometimes I enjoyed the set, but I don't like... It's almost like you get kind of... <laughs> it's hard to explain. You get kind of arrogant. And I don't like it. But I can't tell you how much I need more of that kind of attitude. For me, I need that. But yeah, all the jokes went pretty well. I did a bunch of riffing and stuff as well. I had a lot of fun. I totally was trying to get people to follow me on Instagram so I can get more than 5,000 followers. And it worked, which is hilarious. That was a good show. And my brother, he brought his friends and then one of his older friends showed up on his own and he's been following me. That was super cool to see. And then of course, Brandy and Brandy came out. Those are some old school homies. I fell in a lot of love tonight. And so that's where I was like, you know what? I, I know I'm a little nervous about some of the material I'm gonna do just because I, I'm gonna try to sprinkle in a couple new, but there's not much. I got one new one. I did the free love. I like that one, that one's fine. But this is it. Rancho Cucamonga in the YouTube book. Thank you for watching another fun episode of the Stand Up Adventure Vlogs with your host. I'm doing stand-up comedy. If you guys wanna see what stand-up comedy's like, night in, night out, I'm trying to do my best to capture that for you. Do appreciate you clicking and watching this and liking it and sharing it to anybody who you think will wanna be interested in stand-up comedy life. Please follow me on Instagram, link down below. I got more than 5,000 followers. Watch, this will be really funny. You know, if you are watching this video now and it's years ahead where I have, I don't know, 100,000 followers and you're gonna be like, dude, how are you talking about 5,000 followers? Like, it's a big deal. Anyway, so that moment would be cool. So if somebody's experiencing that, cool! Manifest your destiny. Manifest your destiny. I do sell merchandise through the internet, link down below. Please, if you want to get tickets to the next show, link down below. I'm Mikey McKernan. Thanks for watching. One love. Ah.